Now, what the NFF has done, what they succeeded in doing, was to go and bring a man in his private entity, a tribe man of, uh, 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 of uh, Amaju Pinik, one Bismarck, uh, whatever, what is the name of his company, to be the, the financial, whatever, expert for the NFF, trying to write and rewrite books for NFF. Each year they come out with a healthy, uh, what is it called? They come out with a, a, a bill, healthy bill of Queen financial Pilar. reports. All right, you uh, know, coming out to tell us that this NFF is good, that they don't have any financial uh, uh, issues in the country. Meanwhile, a lot of issues that border that borders on corruption going on. Amaju Pini Kong has this in Ikoi and other places. Nobody is asking questions. This guy has not done any job again before becoming the NFF president. Okay. All the yeah. money he has in his life has so please, Rudolph. I'm sorry to say if I go a little bit emotional because. Children are dying. Yesterday, on Friday, a friend of mine with whom we went to secondary school together was a student at NIS in uh, Suruleri, a, a, a basketball coach, slumped and died. And this was a guy that, before a romance, they, 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 they are so called medical, medical checkups. Nothing. Go to NIS in Suruleri and see. At least we should cry out. A lot of violence we see here and there in this country is as a result of young people, able-bodied men, who are supposed to channel their energy in doing good things. They don't have anywhere to recreate. Now they want to direct it to violence and crime. And we just don't think. We can't think deeply. I All was right. a coach. Right. I was... Okay, it's, it's Rudolph, a, it's, I don't want to. I don't want to abuse the process, though. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank I you. hope we have another platform to. Talk yeah, yeah, will. There will be. Um, Olua, Olua Shina, you can you can answer some of the questions if you can. Um. Yeah. Is a is a is a speaks the mind of um, some of be frustrated, and um, you know, people in Nigeria in terms of football and in terms of general concept. I, I wrote a piece where I said, what you see on the pitch in Abuja, the reaction, the ugly incident that you witnessed there, is a spillover of the situation of things in the country. So football is the only uniting thing in a fragmental society in Nigeria. Nigeria, it's only football that the Igbo man and the Yoruba man will sit down and talk. It's the only time they, they put their political alliances to one side. And this industry, this, this thing called football, has a huge power to bring people together. We have huge division in Nigeria and all that. So the fact that the Eagles are not flying and the, the continuous um, allegations of corruption in the system and how young people are being selected. Some of the things you mentioned here, I'm aware of some of them. Um, allegations of, you know, using some top, some top people to actually um, get themselves away from, you know, investigations and what have you, trying to judge some of these things and all that. But like AZ, like AZ is pointing out, you 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 know that Amri and I have talked about the lack of people who are actually monitoring the money, authority who is investigating where the money goes to. When the government wants to investigate, it is called intervention, interference, and FIFA gets upset. When the fans and the media try to put their hands into some of these things going on by getting involved, by calling them out, they are said to be working for the opposition. When the government wants so, so all of these things, FIFA, FIFA protects these people because they also remember they owe the votes when it comes to FIFA election. So you need to make the boys happy so they can also get the FIFA man in charge of to get his own exactly. votes as well. So we are talking of a corruption that is very huge that just goes like this and you can never have an ending. The only way is that if there's a law in place and there's an authority investigating money that has gone missing, people should be made to pay dearly. Once people start paying, we will not see people wanting to come and come to the football where all the money is and everyone will be rushing because you have to be a character check. You have to be sure to be healthy financially and you don't have corruption um, charges hanging above your head because here we are talking about the NFL president who has failed the nation who prior to two days ago wanted to continue in the third term thing. I'm sure Amri is confused by all of these things that we are talking because this is Nigeria. But then again, this is Nigeria and easy. I'm sorry that you have to go through all of this, but we all get emotional when it comes to Nigeria. But until things are done properly in Nigeria, we'll continue to cry and complain on um, on, 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 on um, platforms like this.